on the tongue of the innocent child. Let's go and ask them. Fine. Excuse me. How much for a gram? <laughs> Imagine buying Class A drugs for your elderly parents. Yeah. You know? Excuse me, is that uh, Mr. Drug Dealer? <laughs> you can tell I don't know this often. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to, uh, to, to buy some Class A's for my parents, but they are quite old. So instead of a baggie, can you put it in one of those big square calendar boxes, please? <laughs> Just to know exactly which way the day of the week they're getting high on. <laughs> Imagine the rave, good God. Is, uh, is Mum gurning or a redemptious for now? <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm, we've got five minutes of fun left, Bristol. Good God. There's more water. No <laughs> secret. Free of charge. <laughs> Universal human right. <laughs> Unless you're in a service station, it's three pound fifty a bottle. <laughs> oh. mm, those bastards at Buxton. Uh, yes, yes. Um, the, the main reason, the main reason why, why I moved down is because uh, this little sausage has got himself a girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, got himself a girlfriend. Yeah, it's, it's great during the, the early stages of a relationship. You know, it's all it's all silly, all fun, isn't it? And I've got little pet names for each other. Yeah, like my little princess. That's what she calls me. <laughs> and I call her babe. Because she's a pig. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's even got a uh, little nickname for me in the bedroom. You know, she calls me a cheeky chabalanta. <laughs> Which is actually quite demoralising when you think about it. <laughs> so you've got a small knob there. <laughs> we might not keep that joke in the future, but this is a learning process, isn't it, madam? You having a good time there? Good, great time. Woo! That's more water. Uh, <laughs> mm, cheers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, things are going well with the old, the old girlfriend. Uh, you know, the early days, you've got little like uh, little in jokes, you know, little, little in jokes only really personal and funny to to, to to yourselves. You know what I mean? Those little jokes. Uh, the other day, the other day, my girlfriend did this thing, right? She did this thing where she uh, she went to stay with a friend because um, she had enough. <laughs> Apparently, I don't take her seriously. <laughs> Said to the it's classic you, you are such a card. <laughs> she came, she came, uh, she came home eventually though. Yeah, I uh, got my own back. Mm, bit of revenge porn. <laughs> Sold a favourite watch. I stole the favourite cushion. Because who doesn't love soft ball? <laughs> that, that broke her. That there is a pun on pawnbroker, which is too niche as a joke. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that one, can't we? Come on, come on. Shall I use that one again in the future? Yes! <laughs> Oh, you didn't bring any that, huh? <laughs> Make your mind up, Christ! Oh, well done. Oh, we'll squeeze in another two minutes. We'll squeeze in another two minutes. Um, any Welsh speakers in? <laughs> Normally gets more reaction back in Wales, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend's a Welsh speaker, so uh, I, I want to learn Welsh. Partly, partly because I'm a proud Welshman. Uh, but most why is that? <laughs> <laughs> He thinks he's a proud Welshman. Can't even speak Welsh. Don't know where I'm going with that. Uh, but mostly because I want to understand what my what my girlfriend says about me to her friends. <laughs> She'll be on the phone like, oh my mic, my mic, the lass and bow twat. 
I think I'm going to crack it. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but one of the silly old Eden games we have is that um, when, uh, when, my, when my girlfriend sways, I'll call her out on it in like a really silly way. Because we're crazy kooks. Uh, so she'll say something like a prick, and I'll say language. <laughs> we can all agree that's hilarious. <laughs> but what, uh, what I thought as I'm learning Welsh, I, I do it in Welsh. But my, my, my girlfriend failed to tell me something, I've been mispronouncing it ever so slightly. So it should be yes, yes. That's what language means in Welsh. Yes. So in a, a day in Aberystwyth, in a, in a, in a, in a coffee shop, because we're millennials, and um, my girlfriend bought a coffee and, and it was boiling hot and spilt it all over her hands and launched into a sweary tirade that a young Gordon Ramsay was proud of. <laughs> so naturally, I call her out on it and I say, sight, 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 just like that. Now this provoked quite the alarm response from the mother and baby group sat next to us, as if I just announced that I'd shagged eagles people. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to my girlfriend, said, why, why, why are you getting so upset? I don't understand why, why are you getting so upset? And she says, well, you've got to think about it from their perspective. Because from their perspective, they've just seen a Mr. Tumnus doppelganger <laughs> trot into a coffee shop interrupt a neonatal class, some of whom are mid-breastfeed, and say, milk, 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 milk. <laughs> I ended up uh, getting into a bit of an argument with one of the mums. And she came storming over, and she said to me, you need to be more careful with what you say. And I'm proud of it, I, I responded. And I said, well, you need to be more careful about who you breastfeed. <laughs> Your son is way too old. <laughs> Breastfeeding much longer, he'll be living with you till he's 30. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we've got a wonderful 10 minutes, haven't we? <laughs> I'm going to love you and leave you, uh, but just finish on kind regards. Thank you very much, everyone. Go!